Hello everyone. So uh, we have part info for everything. I'm gonna be going over it in this video. So if you want to be informed on everything, before we continue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts. A lot of people that watch this channel is not subscribed. And if we can make it to 600K by the end of the year, I'll, I'll do a happy dance or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, please subscribe. Uh, anyways, uh, we got info. So we're gonna go over everything. First of all, we're gonna go over the Phoenix Core. Four large and small locks. So to take a look at the Phoenix Core a little bit closer, uh, it sounds all right. Now I'm assuming what it means by four hard and small locks. I, I think it means prob. I don't know what the order is, but I'm assuming too strong and like too weak. Uh, I don't know. It depends how they order the teeth. Uh, I don't know. Seems interesting. Hopefully, uh, it's good. Well, to be honest, I don't know. Well, it depends how heavy the cores get, because I don't, I don't really know how much a lot of the other cores will be used, but it does look pretty cool in design. I kind of like that the Phoenix bird, you can kind of see it coming up and popping out. It does look really, really cool. So moving on to the next part, which is the Ulala la Prominence. When it receives a strong attack, the prominent shield comes off to release, a, uh, to release the impact and prevents burst. A defense type right-handed rotating blade that can change the difficulty of coming off depending on the direction in which the prominent shield is attached. So depending on whatever orientation, there are two modes to prominence. There is the normal mode where it comes off easy, and I believe it's like called like heavy mode or something. In that one, the armor is tighter on and it's harder to come off. So that is a very cool way to do the Phoenix gimmick, where it's not just the basic thing. So I gotta give, you know, again, kudos to Takeratomi. That is really interesting. You can also notice that the blade is very, very thick. I can already see this thing being amazing right spin defense, and I am pretty excited for it. So just a closer look at it, just so you can see. As far as my thoughts on the design, it does look uh, good. It looks good. I really, I really like it. I really like it. It, it takes like the aspects of like Dead Phoenix's design and revive and everything. It looks super, super cool. Uh, now going over to a one I don't care about at all, uh, Metal Universe. Universe was already like a B-tier driver in Sparking. Metal Universe is like, oh great, I, well if I use this on anything that doesn't really have a slope, it's gonna wear the teeth. So I guess for lefts, I'm trying to think, even if I gave this to lefts and I had the Bahamut cores, again, it's, it's whatever. Why? <laughs> Just why? You know what's funny, we're gonna get to this, is that they're doing a specific type of driver, which is something we've known before, but it's with a unique twist, and they should have just done it with these drivers. I would have preferred that. I hate metal drivers so much. Uh, moving on, Perseus. So we've already seen this before. Well, we, I've seen this before, because I did a review on Dynamite Perseus. Check it out. English Baytubers have not done a review of it. So, well, at the time of that recording anyways. So, if you're wondering, uh, the metal distribution is outwards. It's not really that good, to be honest, in terms of stamina. Now, since this is, I guess, designed specifically for attack, it does make sense that they did do a pairing with this on Savior. So I guess in that sense, uh, yeah, it makes sense where, it can make sense for why you would want to use Perseus. So, moving on to the next part. You wanna know what? I'm gonna say Belly Out for last. Let's go over the other stuff. Uh, this one comes on the Roar Bahamut of the All-in-One set. Metal Drift. So the thing is, Drift already, okay, now I need to explain this, right? People need to understand how meta it is. Oh, Extend Plus Dash, or however they would write it. Oh, that'd be so broken. Bearing Dash, that'd be so broken. Drift that, like listen, you gotta understand that these combinations, especially on stuff that doesn't really burst that much, it doesn't matter, it wouldn't break the meta. For what this stuff is used for, generally parts like drift and bearing have been used just in equalizing battles. So it doesn't really make a difference at all to the grand scheme of things for the meta. Like if you really wanted to argue, you could say, oh, maybe we'll attack types against that, probably won't uh, be able to do anything to it now because of, uh, of the tighter spring. I guess, listen, it's not that big of a deal. You know, here's the thing. 
There is, here is the beauty with Metal Drift. It's, this is why they're smart in, this, in the case of why they paired up with Roar Bahamut. I've been telling for the longest time that Bahamut is good with metal drivers because it can't really wear. So when you pair it up with Drift, that means that for example, Vanish, if you wanted to use it with Guilty, I wouldn't know why. Astral, Roar, have the Bahamut core, Metal Drift, go to town. The color on it is kind of like, it reminds me of the Hell Kerbex colors of the MFB2 uh, remakes. It, it's okay, it's like, uh, I guess violet. What, what would you say the color in Metal Drift is? Like, violet, I guess violet, because it's called violet version. Lila. Kind of lila, all right. Uh, then after, ba da da ba da ba. All right, people. He called the TP Lila, all right. So, Bearing Dash, hey, what's that? There's not a red cap, what's this? So get this, there's a gold cap on it. So at first I was wondering, the hell? <laughs> so basically, <laughs> if you read it, uh, a stamina driver with a spring that is one step stronger than a normal bearing driver and even higher attack, okay, okay. The reason why they're saying attack power is probably just because of the fact they paired up with Savior, ignore it. So. <laughs> Be very careful with the wording right there because it says it is one step stronger than a normal bearing. So it's essentially Hasbro's bearing because Hasbro's bearing just had a good spring on it. It is just, now the original bearing, you can ask anyone, all of them generally did not have it that good of a spring. It was a weak spring. So this is just like bearing with a normal spring. So it is technically a dash for the concept of it being reinforced with a spring and better burst resistance, but it's not like a dash dash, if that makes sense. I think this is kind of a cool idea, so I'm not too worried, to be honest. I still think, potentially, you could still burst bearing combos even with bearing dash, in air quotes. So that is a very interesting thing to note. Also, I love the color though, it looks so nice. The, the original Deep Chaos colors. Maybe we'll do a video with it. All right, what's next? Dangerous Belial. All right. So the Deep blah, blah, blah. All right. It it has okay. So basically, the the overdrive subsystem. I don't really get what makes it the subsystem. I guess the fused disc driver or something, and the fact that there's a burst stopper on the thing. I don't know if there's going to be more than one bay in this subsystem, or if it's just Belial, but uh, whatever. So basically, if you remember the Chosey Awakening, hard launch, uh, the stopper will come out. So if you're wondering how useful this is going to be, very. It's going to definitely, this is, this is like a fair balance because left you have Bahamut with all those stoppers and everything. And now right, we kind of have something. So that is pretty cool. Uh, then after, we're going to go over to the driver. And by the way, uh, it is compatible with all of the gears, if you are wondering. The driver is called All Might plus Ultra. Uh, so, a free <laughs> the flat shaft tip that rotates freely and the disc part with the bouncing function at endurance and defense, two powerful attacks. Furthermore, when shooting powerfully, the shaft tip is fixed and deformed thickly the attack type disc integrated driver that dramatically improves mobility. The disc part DB is okay. So basically, in the advertisement, you see how it's like that. Okay, watch this. Bada bing, bada boom, goes in. So it goes from I guess like like extreme flat to like giga flat or something. Well, that's cool I guess. So I I, I got some beef with Belial. So they essentially. Well, basically ripped off Josie Valkyrie, and he and he has what Savior kind of should have been. Okay, the dangerous blade, right? The dangerous blade. If we're gonna go over it, it's a strong attack performance with three large blades. The attack, blah blah blah, blah and increased. <laughs> It has high hardness rubber filled in the blade. Oh my God. So, and the thing is too, it's got a better shape than Savior to be quite honest. Like Savior, I've been complaining that the shape's not there, but obviously with the right core pairing, you know, it can still be good. 
Now, if you notice where the rubber is located, I still think this is going to be a very good right spin attack blade. Well, I would hope so anyways, because right spin attack's been kind of dead. Now, Savior has revived right spin attack, but I'm talking about like to where it's like good, good. So this is why I'm very excited with all the stuff, because for example, with the Belial 2 core, this could be paired up with Savior, and this could potentially avoid the risk that Savior has with recoil and bursting. Either way, I think that overall, this stuff is very exciting for October. Like, good gimmicks on the stuff. It's creative. I think Metal Universe is still cringe. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. So if you're wondering, I need to correct the piece of information I said in the original news video. So the original release date that was on the flyer was October 2nd. So when I pre-recorded the audio, I assumed it was gonna stick to October 2nd. So what's going on is that the all-in-one set, the Bahamut and the Belial recolor, that's still October 2nd. October 9th is gonna be the triple. So triple, the special starter. I don't know, I, I said triple because well, it's three bit, you get the idea. So. That means there is going to be a weak gap. Now, I guess this is going to be a good time for you to decide what you really want. Now, listen, all in one set's there. The reality is it's just a really core, it's, a, it's an easy to get Bahamut and if you really want Metal Drift. Uh, and really the highlight for October is going to be that, like listen, it, it comes with meta stuff. It comes with really meta stuff. It's a very hard thing to pass up on. So yeah. When there's more information, I will do videos on it. Uh, check out our shop, we sell stuff. It is an optional way to support the channel. If you're able to check it out or even share it, I greatly appreciate it. Stay safe during these times and have an amazing day.